guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and we are just days away from Christmas. We are in the holiday spirit. We're on full swing with activities and, and festivities, I should say, and parties, get-togethers. There's a lot going on. But, you know, I get a lot of questions about some, you know, I have people coming over in an hour, help me, what can I give them that's something that I can put together, put it in a jar, and they'll be happy. So I took that question and I started to kind of think about that for a bit. I thought, you know, I'm gonna give you three edible gift ideas that are just on the money, really easy. You can use ingredients you probably already have on hand, which is why I wanted to make this video, because if you've got someone coming over in like 20 minutes and you're thinking, they might bring me a gift, I didn't get them a gift. What do I do? I don't want to just, you know, be empty handed. What can I put together that they will receive with such joy? So I thought I'm going to go through my cabinet, put together ingredients to make three awesome mixes that I know you will use over and over again after the holiday season. So what I've got here are three of my favorites, starting off with this is the mix for my whole wheat bread. Now what I've done is I just put all the dry ingredients for my whole wheat bread, my whole wheat flour, I've got a packet of yeast that I actually wrapped in plastic wrap so that way it's separate. I've got some dried milk powder in there, some salt, and all I have to do is add water, add a little bit of honey, and they're pretty much completely done. And then what you do is you take a piece of craft paper and you can just literally either print out the recipe or you know, and shrink it down because you don't want an 8x10. Print out the recipe and tape it to the back of the piece of paper or you can just write it in. Just say, you know, to the mix, add so much honey, so much water, mix, let it rise, bake for this long. And it's perfect. I did this last year with my friend Jamie and she loved it because she said, you know what, I made it after Christmas and I had great whole wheat bread on hand for an entire week. So that's a fantastic idea. The next one takes a little bit more time to make, about an hour, but it's so worth it. And this is my homemade granola. Now, the great thing about granola is that really all you need is oats, and then whatever else you have, whatever nuts you have on hand, whatever dried fruit you have on hand, the world is your pickle. And that's why I think this is such a great edible gift idea, because it requires no, 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 no ingredient that like you don't specifically need cranberries, you don't specifically need raisins, you can use whatever you want, whatever you have on hand, making this not only easy on the mind, because I don't have to think about it, but it's also economically friendly because you don't have to go out and now buy specialty dried fruit just to make a little bit of granola. You can use bits and pieces that are left over in your pantry. You can also use bits and pieces that are left over like candy from Halloween and chocolates. I've done it, no shame in my game, and this is awesome. And what you can do with this, you can serve it with, you can give it to someone as a gift as is. I think it looks beautiful in this jar. And what you can also do is write in the back the recipe for granola muffin which is a recipe on my website um, and I'll write all these recipes down you know on a recipe page on laurainthekitchen.com and it'll just be called edible gift ideas and there you'll find the recipe for the bread the granola and for the last one which is my pancake mix now how many of you are busy moms out there that you just in the middle of the work week, want to make something really easy for your kids. They love pancakes. You don't want to turn to the box to stuff because it's not necessary. This one is when this comes in handy. What I've done is usually, you know, in a pancake mix is a one cup of flour. I just made four times the amount so that they have enough to make pancakes for like a month and a half if they want to make them every day. <laughs> um, so in here, I just have flour. I've got some sugar, baking powder. I've got some salt. And then all you do in the back of your little uh, card or printout or whatever you stick to your jar is you just put to one cup of mix, put one cup of milk, one egg. How easy is that? And they can really customize them. They can put chocolate chips, they can put bananas, they can put whatever they want. The point is they have something that they can grab that's really, really, really helpful in the middle of a busy work week and I think everybody would love. So those are my three in a pinch, last minute edible gift ideas that I know people receive so, so well. And of course you can't go wrong with cookies and brownies and panettone. I mean, there's so many things that I wish I could eat and I wish I could gift to you, but you know, for the purpose of today's video, I just wanted to help my friends, that's you, uh, with just some ideas that you can make in no time at all. And trust me when I tell you, 
these are received so, so well. Like I said, Jamie just loved the whole wheat braid idea so much and I'm doing it again for her this year. So I hope that this has been helpful. I would really love to know from you what some of your favorite edible gift ideas are to give someone or to receive. I think it's always so nice to kind of hear from each other, uh, especially from all over the world. It can vary quite a bit, so I think that's also, that's always so much fun. Uh, so anyway, I will have all these written for you with the instructions of everything so that you can print it out, you can cut them out, and you can give them to whoever your heart desires. I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that you're having a fantastic holiday season being surrounded with your loved ones. And don't forget that after all, no matter what gift, no matter how edible, no matter how delicious, no matter what, the most important thing and the best gift of all is being surrounded with the people you love the most. I wish you and your family a happy and healthy holiday season. I'll see you soon. Mwah.